Hey guys, welcome to another episode of a Dine Mall series. This is part two of Forest Mall in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Let's take a peek inside. Today we're taking a peek at Forest Mall in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. The mall has gone through many changes over the past two years since I've done my first video and have had several requests to do another one. Unfortunately though, many things have changed in the last two years. Many stores have been left behind with only a handful left. Fond du Lac is in a very big city. Current population is about 42,000 people. It sits on the south end of Lake Winnebago, Lake Winnebago being the largest lake in Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin sits on the north end of Lake Winnebago, while Oshkosh sits in the middle. We entered the mall from the west end, and you can see the lowly Kohl's, the only department store left open, right next to a Staples, which the only way you can get into it is from the outside. To give a brief history of the mall, Forest Mall opened in 1973. It currently is developed by Melvin Sowerman Associates. The number of stores slots that are available in the mall is around 50. About 36 are vacant while 14 are open. This is from Wikipedia, so this probably is pretty outdated because we only counted a few stores left, unfortunately. The total retail floor area is 500,000 square feet. Number of floors is one. Melvin Simon Associates, known as Simon Property Group, first announced plans for Forest Mall in 1964. The mall opened in 1973, featuring Montgomery Ward, J.C. Penney, A.C. Prangy, Prangy Way, and G.C. Murphy. Of these stores, Montgomery Ward, J.C. Penney, and Prangy Way have relocated from downtown Fond du Lac. The Montgomery Ward space was taken over by Kohl's, the Prangy Way store by Sears, and Prangy's became Yonkers. Simon renovated the mall in 1998, which there added skylights and new flooring. In 2006, several new stores opened at the mall, although most were pretty local retailers, nothing fairly big. I'm here at the mall around 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Uh, most people out walking around, if you can see, uh, were 99.9% um, people who were just mall walking. Nobody had shopping bags. Everybody had their walking shoes. I had one guy who stopped me and we talked a little bit and he said that he comes there every Saturday to get his exercise. Here we're at the main entrance location, the central atrium I like to call it. Um, there is a blank wall where a department store used to be. I'm not quite sure which one was there first, but uh, if anybody knows, let me know because I want to add that to the video eventually. But I think it's pretty cool. I think they should either add a mural or add some type of a uh, an advertisement of maybe what's going to be happening with the mall in the future. Um, some type of developer might be coming in to look at seeing what's going to happen with it. It would be cool to maybe advertise that there. Here's one store slot that has a brick facade. 
kind of reminds me of one that I've seen before at Regency Mall in Racine, Wisconsin. Ooh, wanted to avoid getting camera contact with somebody else. I try to uh, keep the camera away from people's faces as much as I can for outer respect. Now I highlighted this in the last uh, Fond du Lac mall video. I thought it was cool of the painting they have in this corner. It's kind of hidden away, which I don't really understand. If anybody knows the history of behind this area, just let me know. Maybe I'll add that in the description. But I think it's cool to have something like this, especially in a place where it's kind of dark and dank. I don't know much, but I know how to love you. Here's an old C.J. Banks location. Looks like it moved to a new area called the Shops at Johnson Crossing. To give a little history, the Shops at Johnson Crossing is a strip center developed in 2008. It was a um, strip center with multiple retailers anchored by a Festival Foods grocery store. Uh, it's on the same street that uh, this mall was located on, Johnson Street and it's just on the other side of town. I love mall maps. Whenever I go to a mall, I always make sure I check it out to see kind of where I should be heading. Also likes to use it uh, for the videos just to let you guys know what type of mall we're looking at, whether it's a two-level mall or if it's a straight hall or whatnot. Again, I've said it before, I like when they have steps and ramps on the hallways of these malls. It kind of breaks things up a little bit. I always think they kind of have it at this mall because it gives some steps for all the mall walkers. Here's another good view of the skylights they have here at the mall. They have several of them, which brings in a lot of natural light. It's kind of nice for a mall like this to have such nice uh, areas that bring in a lot of light.
Thanks for watching the second video of the Forest Mall in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Uh, please subscribe if you like the video. If you have a question, please leave a message on my Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks, guys.